Hi, this is Brian Schneider of Verification AE from Synopsys. Today I'm going to show you a short video on how to determine drivers and loads with Inverti. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for a particular signal that I'm interested in, which I'll use this one search down here. So what I'll enter here is WB data O star. So this will go through and find me anywhere inside the design where this string exists. I'll click on the Sources tab here. So this lists all the possible places. So what I'll start off with here is I'll look inside of where I find this wishbone data. So this is the signal I was interested in. So this gives me a way I can find and search for a signal of interest. Now I might want to say to myself, where is this guy driven from? So what inside of Verti, what I can do is I can just double click on the signal. This does a driver trace. So we see it comes from this assign window. Down here, this is where all your driver results end up. So I see down here that I have one coming from, one driver coming from my wishbone DMA master.v, which is this line, and also a potential driver coming from inside my clocking block. So this gives you multiple results. And one thing to point out here is when I'm doing this, this there's no simulation results with, loaded. All I'm doing is just processing and understanding things from a source code, source code perspective. So let me go back to this line here. So I see this assigned statement. I see we, this is a concatenation of various signals, and then it'll either be this PT select or master PTN. I'll continue tracing this master PTN. I'll do another driver trace. So again, I get another result here, and we can now see that this is being driven by this signal. And while I'm doing this, Verdi is actually jumping in between hierarchies. So if you go from one scope to another, Verdi helps understand that. You don't have to trace different signal names. So if, I, if you pay attention to the scope box here, this is going to tell you as you're doing your driver traces as you change from hierarchies. So I start off in the this slave PT out inside the dot level, and I jumped into this U1 level. So you can see that, hey, I did cross hierarchy when I did this driver trace. Now I'm going to go back and review, just go back to my initial trace here, which would have been on my wishbone data out. Where are you at? So did I miss you? Go back here. I'll click on it that way. So we have this wishbone data out. I did it from a driver perspective. Now let me also do this from a load perspective. So I get the, if I hit the L icon here, this will now do a load trace, so which goes out to this line of code here. Now inside of this driver's result window, pay attention that we have some of these boxes, these little half moons pointing to the left, which signifies a driver, then ones pointing to the left will signify a load. So that's where you can quickly determine, did I do a driver or load trace? And also it tells you right here, here's a driver, here's a load. So this is a load of this signal. May I'll select another one of these and do another load trace, which in this case, I got all the way to my output, so it tells me, hey, there's no results for this signal because there's nothing actually connected to it at this part how the design is set up. So let me go back here. I'll go back to this window here. If I go back to my console, my message window, and I go back to the trace window, I can get back to my trace results. So, this, so I just want to quickly go through some of the ways you can do quickly do driver and load traces inside of Verdi. Again, started with let me search for a signal of interest and then understand connectivities by doing driver and load traces from the source code perspective. So that's my short video for today. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.